What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the Treehouse Brewing Company YouTube channel. Today I'm standing in Woodstock, Connecticut, where we're celebrating a milestone that we've been looking forward to for over five years. Today, we are opening the Treehouse Farm and Fermentary. There's something magical that happens when you drive over this hill and you make your way into the fermentary. First thing that you'll encounter is the view behind me as you make your way into the property. Beyond this view, you're gonna go through the woods on a winding road as you make your way up through the produce section and make a right-hand turn toward our barn and retail store. When you experience that view behind me in the flesh for the first time, it's something that we can't quite put into words. This video will not do it justice and we cannot wait for you guys to see it. When we originally bought this property, we knew that it would be at the heart of what Treehouse Brewing Company is and what Treehouse Brewing Company does. One of our foremost operating principles is to make things from scratch. It's really important to us for you to experience something that we have created from start to finish. And in order to facilitate that on the grandest of scales, having an agricultural component for our creative ecosystem was absolutely critical. So on this farm, we have planted an amazing orchard with over 2,000 fruit bearing trees. We have a wide variety of cider making apples, wide variety of pears, stone fruit, and cherries and plums. Beyond that, we planted an amazing berry block that has yellow and red raspberries, pink gooseberries, black currants, all kinds of sort of esoteric varieties of fruit that will help us make beers that are natural and distinctive. And beyond that, the orchard program is gonna serve as the base for our apple brandy over time. It's gonna serve as a base for our eau de vie program and beyond in the orchard so that as we make our way along in our creative journey, more of what we make is grown from start to finish. We've grown produce now and we're in our fifth year. Eric, our farm manager, who's gonna be celebrating this day more than anybody, has been dreaming about showing this farm to the general public for over five years. And one of the things that he's passionate about is heirloom varieties of tomato. In our pizza program in Deerfield, you can enjoy in the summertime a pizza that's called the Summer Tomato Pie that contains over 50 varieties of heirloom tomato that are grown right here on the property. One of the things that an orchard needs to be successful is little baby pollinators. And we here on site have a number of hives and honeybees that help to do that work for us here on site. This particular year for the first time, they are as healthy and beautiful and vibrant as ever. Some of you guys may know my man Eric Nelson here from the tap room. He's been filling growlers, slinging cans, and just being a bundle of joy uh, in Munson and Charlton for many years before being promoted to his true passion, which is farm manager. Uh, we're just gonna take a quick saunter around, point some things out, and talk about what we're excited about. Do you remember the day that we planted the, not only the orchard, but the vineyard, what it was like? It was, it was wet. It was wet. <laughs> it, was, it was standing water. Wet, wet is an understatement. We, yeah. we were out here in a monsoon. The trees came in and we only had a small window to plant them before they blossomed in the wrapper so as to lose them as seedlings. And so we, we hopped out here in literal monsoon, planting both a six acre vineyard and roughly 1,500 fruit trees. We spent a lot of time planting we had a produce program here. We ran the CSA, had yep. several hundred people for several years. And yep. finally, the big day, uh, releasing malt beverages here. How does it feel? Very exciting, very exciting. As a, as a, as a preferred beer man, I'm, uh, I'm very excited about that. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's definitely an extension of what agriculture is. So it's kind of exciting that we're able to continue our agriculture journey you know, with beer. You know, we, we've made plenty of cider. We've used our peaches. We've used our grapes. Yeah, so Eric's referring to, we had a, the cider program here existing at the farm, which has been pouring for a couple of years now. We've made a carbonic maceration wine, which is kind of an in the moment wine that's really expressive, that shows the terroir of the grapes with our Sabrevois and Marquette grapes, which are cold hardy varieties. We've utilized some of the stone fruit in our cider 
and some other weird fermentations that we've had here throughout the years. But today is all about beer. Have you had the pale ale yet? Oh, that peacherine is on point, on point. Yeah. yeah, it's like super fluffy and I couldn't believe how soft it was on the palate, so it's just drinking yeah. really nicely. Yeah, the head retention on that is just absolutely insane. We've got Adirondack chairs in the shade. We've got picnic tables with umbrellas. Again, we, we do have a barn here for retail sale. I've got a, a variety of you know, curated products from Treehouse that are available, and they'll be here for the taking. We've got a farm map that will explain to you what is where, and you're free to roam the property as you see fit. Obviously, any alcoholic beverages have to remain on the property, but the entire farm, the 93 acres, is open for you guys to explore. And then when you visit on site, you can also point out some areas of interest to you, and you guys are free to make your way around. I do want to stress, please don't pick the fruit or uh, bother the fruit trees. They're for picking in the fall, and we don't want to harm them. But other than that, you're free to make yourself at home, bring a picnic basket, bring a cheese plate, bring your own food and enjoy, quite frankly, one of my favorite places on the planet to drink a beer. The way that it works is very simple. In order to visit, we do ask that you purchase draft tickets ahead that serve as your reservation. In order to keep it peaceful and becoming of a farm-like environment, we just require that you guys do that in advance. So beginning today, there's an option on the website to click on buy draft tickets. When you buy a draft ticket, you'll be in the system. That will be your entry onto the property. You'll have a reservation for the day. If there happen not to be draft tickets available, it means that unfortunately we've sold out for that day. The Treehouse Farm and Fermentary encapsulates the ideal that we first dreamed of when we opened 12 years ago in that small barn on St. Clair Road. We've endured crushing demand over the years. We've worked incredibly hard to get ahead of it. And throughout that ordeal, we have dreamed of simply drinking expressive, beautiful, heartfelt beers in an environment that you can remember. And we've worked a long time to get to this point and to finally realize the dream of the Treehouse Farm and Fermentary here in Woodstock is something that I find to be magical and I think you will too when you have the chance to visit. Thank you guys for watching, take care, and be good to each other.